Hi, I'm Emma from the Institute of Imagination. Today, we're exploring wild cities. We will explore how we can learn and be inspired by animals' traits and characteristics to design places and spaces using Lego and craft and junk materials to bring wild prototypes to life. Now, let's get started. You will need a pack of Wild City cards, a map. If you don't have one, you can draw one. My Idea Invention Resource, craft, junk materials, Lego, scissors, tape, glue, wool, and maybe colored card. So, take your pack of Wild Cities cards and split them into two decks. So you have animals and you have buildings. There we go. Now, choose an animal that you would like to pick. I think I'm gonna go for a chameleon. Okay, and then choose a building that you would like to design. Um, and I think I'm gonna go for a leisure building. And then on the back, you can choose a building that you would like to build. So I think today, I'm gonna to build a playground. So, a chameleon playground. Let's draw up an idea to see how we can use the characteristics and traits to play with the shape, design and function of the chameleon playground. Now, let's build the idea. This is my chameleon playground. Now, I have designed certain parts of my chameleon playground. So when children come in, there are suction cups and claw cups that you can put on your feet, allowing you to go upside down in your playground. It also allows you to have stick out claws so you can climb really narrow things like they do with the trees. Chameleons also change colour. So I thought about some colour changing games where you press this button and then these all change and children go to different blocks. In addition, we have a swing, which is essential to a playground and some lovely things that you can climb down. Now the last thing is that chameleons can see 180 degrees and also 360. So I've put some eyes on the, on the bottom and on the top to detect if a child has a fall, that the eyes will detect it and the parents will come and help. Now, animals can inspire some of the coolest architecture. Now it's time for you to get thinking and building architecture using animals.